Today I'm going to answer the question, why in the world you might need an EMP shield? And it's not for the reason you think it might be. I'm going to answer nine questions in under seven minutes, so let's get right to it. Why do I need an EMP shield? Well, to be honest, it's not for an EMP. It's because I believe in protecting your biggest investment, and your biggest investment for most people is home. And the EMP shield protects against lightning and power surges, both of which are much more likely than a CME or an EMP. So what about EMPs and CMEs? Because if you're here looking at a product called EMP Shield, you might be interested in EMPs. Here's the deal. I can't guarantee anything about an EMP. I don't really know a whole lot about them. But what I can do is read through the 120 some page report that I got back from third party verification based on military EMP protection standards. So how does it work? Well, I'll try to explain it the easiest way I can. You install it on your panel on a double 20 amp breaker, and it constantly monitors the electricity coming into the house. And if at any point it sees a massive spike in electricity, it shuts it off absolutely massively quick. So that's how it works. It basically acts as a sacrificial device with shunts inside to divert the power from the rest of your home and everything connected to it to the EMP device and blows that. So what in the world can you use an EMP shield on? What might need? lightning strike protection, or power surge protection, or an EMP protection. Well, your house for one, uh, one phase or three phase power, any DC voltage whatsoever, my Dodge Ram truck over there, an RV, a boat, a bug out vehicle, ham radio, antennas, receiving, sending, the whole works. Anything that is electronic that you might wanna protect, they make an EMP shield that you can install on it. Why do they offer insurance against an EMP strike? Because it's not like they're gonna pay it out anyway. And that is the biggest misnomer in this product, this whole sphere. They don't offer insurance against an EMP strike. What they offer is insurance against a lightning strike to your home or a power surge. If either of those happen, they cover you for up to $25,000 for any damages that are connected to that device. Once you get it installed, there's two little LED lights on it. What do they mean? Pretty simple. If the green light's on, it means the line's protected. So you got, uh, you know, your two 110 lines coming into the home, you got that two pole breaker there. So if both green lights are on, it means your home is protected. If they aren't, you need to get an electrician in and say, do I have power coming to both these? If I do, you need to replace that because it's been fried by a power surge, a lightning strike that you might not have known about, something along those lines. But if the green lights are on, you're protected. Can I install it myself? Sure you can, I did. Are you comfortable with electricity? Are you comfortable with taking the cover off your electric panel? then sure you can do it, but if you're not comfortable with it, hire an electrician or hire a buddy who knows what they're doing, watch them and learn. I'm a big fan, a big believer in learning how to do all this stuff yourself, but I'm also a big fan of not doing something that's so far to your comfort zone that you could end up breaking the number one rule of survival and that's not surviving. So, can you do it? Sure you can, but if you're not comfortable, get an electrician. The next question I get all the time is, aren't they just a bunch of scamming scammers that are trying to scam us all out of our money? I personally know two people who work at EMP Shield, both of whom I consider friends. That's number one. Number two, they stand behind their product with a $25,000 guarantee. Number three, they offer third-party verification of all the claims that they make. And number four, and this was probably the most important thing, is I asked them, I said, I need proof. You need to show me where you stand behind your product. And within 15 minutes, one of their guys sent me four pictures of four different devices that they had replaced four customers that had saved them a ton of money. One instance alone was a very expensive water treatment plant that the EMP shield acted as the sacrificial anode and saved all that downtime and all that specialized equipment. And Tim, you're probably just getting paid to say this. Well, kinda, yeah, I guess I am. I'm a firm believer in value for value exchange. And this was a product that once I checked out, I really enjoyed. And yeah, I make affiliate commission on absolutely every EMP shield that you guys buy through my link. And guess what? You also save $50 off of any one that you, you buy using my link. I'm a firm believer in value for value exchange, and I'm also a firm believer in helping people and making money don't need to be mutually exclusive. That's the beauty of the free market. So yeah, I absolutely make affiliate commissions off of this, but it's a product I stand behind because it's people I know, they've sent me the documentation and they've sent me the photographic proof that it does what it does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're still here, it means I probably made this video for you. So hit the subscribe button, stick around. I got a bunch more content just like this. But if you wanna do a deep dive into the workings of the EMP shield, check out that video right there I did. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.